Hi, Liz Pacini singing and reading for Cassie. God, I'm a dancer, and a dancer dances. Give me somebody to dance with. Give me a place to fit in. Help me return to the world of the living by showing me how to regain. job and you instantly get me involved. If you give me a job, then the rest of the crap will get solved. Just put me to work. You must think that by now I'm allowed. I'll do I'm strong. Give me the chance to look forward to saying, hey, listen, they're playing my song. Play me the music. Just give me the chance to come through. All I ever needed was the music and the mirror and the chance. This audition is really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing here? What do you think? I need a job. In the chorus. Oh, look, Zach, I'd love a part, of course, but I'll take what I can get. You're too good for the chorus, Cassie. Too good? I did a couple of dance parts, so what? You were featured. You stopped two shows cold. Your career was going fine here in New York. I can't get a job, Zach. God, you sound like all my friends, my fans, acting like I'm some star and don't know it. When the truth is, I never even came close, and nobody has the guts to tell me. It'd be nice to be a star, but I'm not. I'm a dancer. So you're going through a slow period. It happens to everyone. Something will happen. That's what I kept telling myself in California. I kept telling myself that and telling myself nothing will happen. I can't act. What? I can't act. And there I am in California, supposed to be this actress. Didn't take me long to find out I can't act. Didn't take Hollywood long either. You didn't work out there. Oh, sure. A rotten part in a so-so film. Part ended up getting cut, thank God. I was a go-go dancer in a TV movie of the week. Let's see. Oh, yes, commercials. I almost got to squeeze a roll of toilet paper, but I lost out on the finals. Isn't that something? 17 years in the business, and I end up flunking toilet paper squeezing. And it was a dancing band-aid. That was fun. There was an earthquake. Got a terrific tan. You must have heard. I all. did hear you were going out with some big agents. Being a bit wild, running around, carrying on. Well, when you're a woman of leisure, what else is there to do but get a bit wild and run around? Not to mention getting fat and going crazy, which is why I came back to New York. Which is why I'm here today, Zach. Oh dear. Little pussycat, I need a job. I just can't see you dancing in the chorus, Cassie. Why not? Listen, if you need money, call my business manager. Well, of course I need the money. Who doesn't? But what I don't need is a handout. I need a job. I need a job, and I don't know how else to say it. Do you want me to say it again? No. Fine. Then we got that far. Look, I haven't worked in two years, not really. And there's nothing left for me to do, so I'm putting myself on the line. I'm putting myself on your line, Zach. I don't want to wait on tables, and what I really don't want to do is teach other people how to do what I should be doing myself. You can't go back to the chorus, Cassie. That's not the answer. I'm not trying to go back. I'm trying to start over again. Zach, I'll settle for that. Starting over. Starting over. We can't. What? We? You're talking about no, us. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're talking about us. Cassie, let's just keep this business, okay? By all means. Well, who's here for anything else? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Work, Zach? And that's why I'm here today, about work. Well, you shouldn't have come. You don't fit in. You don't dance like anybody else. You don't know how. But I did years ago, and I can do it again. You won't even let me try? Please, just give me a chance. What's wrong? What are you doing? 
my job. What? How can you do it? You got out of the course when you were 22. What the hell makes you think you can go back now? My sanity. Cassie, you can't do it. But I did it. I did what you wanted. I pulled in, I cooled it, I, I danced like everybody else. I know you did. And to be perfectly honest, I couldn't stand it. You know, that's your problem. Why, because you pulled me out of the course in the first place? Does that make you feel like some kind of failure? Why did you leave me? Oh, we're gonna get into that. Why did you leave me? I came home one night and you were gone. My Zach, you noticed. Very funny. You'd left me weeks before. Left? I thought we were living together. No, we're sharing the same apartment, maybe. No, I mean in the real sense of the word left. You left. You were madly in love again. And all I- I wasn't. You know I wasn't. I was directing my first play. And you were in love with it. And often the only world that means anything to you. Cassie, you know how important that was to me, Christ. If I could direct a straight play and pull it off, it meant I wasn't going to be stuck just making up dance steps for the rest of my life. You were never going to be stuck. You were going to make sure you did it all. Direct, choreograph, musicals, plays, movies. I knew you loved work, but you really get off on it, don't you? Yeah, I guess I do. You didn't seem to mind when we were working together. It was only when we weren't that... Oh, Zach, I didn't mind not being a part of your work. I loved you. I could have handled that. It was not being a part of your life that got to me. And not being able to keep up with you because that's what you expected. I know you did. You were moving up and you wanted me to be right up there with you. I was a good dancer, but you wanted me to be a star. What's wrong with that? Why shouldn't you be? Why shouldn't you be the best you can be when I got out of the chorus? I decided I was That's not a you. decision. That's a disease. God, good, better, best. I hate it. How can you stand it? Are you gonna go from one show to the next to the next, rehearsing them all 24 hours a day, every day for the rest of your life? You're not even doing it for yourself. You're trying to prove something, like I was, when I was doing it for you, to please you, to keep you, to get you back. But I don't wanna prove anything anymore. I wanna do what I love as much as I can for as long as I can, but at least I'm doing it for myself. Who are you doing it for? I'm sorry. I have no right to judge. Why are we doing this? We must be past this by now, aren't we? I am. Good. Then don't feel you owe me any favors. Just treat me like everybody else. 